Hey there, it's Brie, and this is my latest ebook haul. So, in the month of July, I ended up downloading 15 ebooks, which is pretty average, I think. I don't know that I've ever counted them, but I think I'm going to start counting them just to see how many I download. I'm not the type of person that worries too much about how many ebooks I download because I'd rather have a bunch of them on hand than miss out on something that I might enjoy. So I'm okay with having a bunch of ebooks and most of the ebooks that I get, I get for free. I do have a bunch here that are part of Kindle Unlimited. So if you have a Kindle Unlimited subscription, then you can check those out. And then some of these may still be free. I can't say for sure whether or not it will be. As is typical for ebooks on Amazon, same thing with Kindle Unlimited. Sometimes they'll be free for a short amount of time. They're usually just like on sale for a short amount of time. And also eBooks can also be available on Kindle Unlimited for a short amount of time. So hopefully these still are, but in either way, I wanted to share with you some of the books that I downloaded in the month of July. So the first one was Strange Love. It's Galactic Love, book number one by Anne Aguirre. This is a book that I purchased because it just sounded interesting and I've been on a weird romance kick. I'm going to be doing a recommendation video for some of the weirdest books, the weirdest romance books that I loved. This is actually one of them. This one's 306 pages. This one is so cute. It's a cute rom-com between a robot alien and a human woman that he accidentally abducts. And he also accidentally abducts her dog and they put like these translator chips into everyone. And so the dog can communicate too. And it's hilarious, but it's actually a really, really good romance too. So I really, really liked it. Next, I downloaded Smash and Grab. It's Relic book number one by Maz Maddox. This one's available on Kindle Unlimited and it's 190 pages long. I totally downloaded this because of Steph from Novelty Corner. She read, I think, all the books in this series, or at least like the first three or something, and she really liked them. This is a dinosaur shifter romance. So again, this is another one that I wanted to read because I've been on a like weird romance kick lately. That's something that you will notice in a lot of these books. I downloaded them because I was reading a lot of weird romances. <laughs> Um, the next one I downloaded was Feed, It's Fangs with Benefits, book number one by Avita Vice. This one's available on Kindle Unlimited. It's 48 pages long. This one is an erotic monster romance, and I guess the heroine is a succubus, and I'm not sure what the hero is. I think the synopsis says that he's a pie, like P-Y-E, pie. I don't know how else to say that, but I don't know what that is, so I guess we'll find out when I read it. And it's only 48 pages long, so quick and easy. Have not read that one yet either. I think the rest of these I haven't read yet. The next one is Enemies with Benefits. This one's Loveless Brothers, book number one by Roxy Noir. This is one that I downloaded for free. It's 434 pages long. This one's a childhood enemies to lovers workplace romance. Next, I downloaded Her Vigilante by Lillian Lark. This one is available on Kindle Unlimited. It's 128 pages long. I downloaded this one because I read another book by this author that I absolutely fell in love with and decided I wanted to read her entire backlist. This one is a stalker romance, and I guess the heroine, it sounds like maybe she's part of the FBI or something. The hero is the criminal or whatever that they call the vigilante, so that sounds really good. Next, I downloaded Sweet on You by Carla D. Guzman, and this one was gifted to me by my sweet friend Diana. This one's 263 pages long. It's a Filipino romance, which I am half Filipino, so I was very excited about it. It. This one takes place around Christmas time. So I think I'm going to read this. I'm going to save this for Christmas time. And it is a romance between two opposing cafe owners, like cafe and bakery owners. I guess the heroine owns a cafe and then the hero also owns a cafe that opens up near hers. And I guess like her cafe has like karaoke and stuff like that. I don't know. It sounds really, really fun and I can't wait to read it. Next, I downloaded Surviving and Thriving with an Invisible Chronic Illness. It's How to Stay Sane and Live One Step Ahead of Your Symptoms by Ileana Jacqueline. This book is available on Kindle Unlimited. It was a recommendation from Avery from Avery Loves Books. It's 210 pages long. I downloaded this not only because Avery recommended it, but also because I have a chronic illness. I have multiple sclerosis. Avery also has a, chron a chronic illness. She has POTS and she actually talked about this in a live show that we did on Tori from Novel Life's channel. Um, we did a celebration of Disability Pride Month over on Tori's channel. I'll link it down below. And she mentioned this book, but I, I think she couldn't remember the title of it, but this was the book that she was talking about. Next, I downloaded Heart of a Bachelor. This one is Cowboys of Flint Hills by Tessa Lane. This one's 223 pages long. I downloaded it for free. This one, the hero is a cowboy, obviously, and he is also a doctor, and it sounds like the heroine is a doctor as well, and she's like 
she's new to town or I think maybe she lived there, moved away, came back, and she's a doctor as well. It's a small town second chance romance. Next, I downloaded Sweet Obsession. It's Ruthless Games, book number one by Callie Rose. This one's available on Kindle Unlimited. It's 308 pages long. This one is a dark new adult romance. I guess the heroine saves the hero's life and maybe he becomes like obsessed with her and starts stalking her or something. And I don't know, I have a thing for stalker romances, so whatever. Then I downloaded Flame. It's Men of Inked Heatwave book number one by Shell Bliss. Shell Bliss is an author who I've heard a lot about, but I've never actually read anything by her, I don't think. This one I downloaded for three. It's 320 pages long. This one is a bad boy romance and it's a one night or I guess like a one week stand romance that turns into a relationship. Next, I downloaded Wilderness. It's Midnight Sun series, book number one by Lynn Burke. This one I downloaded for free. It's 232 pages long. This one is a loner hero who saves the life of a heroine. I think it's like a mountain man also type of romance. Then I downloaded The Patron. This is Broken Slipper series, book number one by Vivian Wood. This one I downloaded for free. It's 276 pages long. This one is a forbidden billionaire romance, and typically I'm not a big fan of billionaire romances. However, I love forbidden romances, and I mostly downloaded this because I love the premise of it. I guess the heroine is a ballerina who strips on the side, and then she meets the hero who wants to like maybe buy her or something, and she's probably down on her luck, needs the money, so it sounded really good. Next is Rule Play. It's Saints of Love, book number one by Elizabeth Perry. This one I downloaded for free. It's 212 pages long. This one is a fake dating sports romance, and I think the sport is football. I love sports romances. <laughs> Next, I downloaded Accidental Love. It's Accidental Hookup, book number one by Mia Ford. This book is 156 pages long I downloaded it for free and it's a friends to lovers and it sounds like it's a bodyguard or protector romance and I love bodyguard romances so I'm excited about it all right guys that's it those are all the ebooks that I downloaded in the month of July stay tuned on my channel because I think next week or the week after I'm going to be doing an audiobook haul which is something that I probably should have been doing for a while because I read a ton of audiobooks but I just wasn't thinking of it so stay tuned for that thank you guys so much for watching and as always happy reading